James, what can you say after that? It was agonising at the end. Um, yeah, it was. Uh, I think first off, we didn't we didn't really start the game uh, in any in any capacity. Um, but we were lucky, I think, at half time to be uh, to be still in the game. I thought Luke Simpson in, in goals was was excellent for us. Made a, some great saves, uh, and I said to the lads, it was an opportunity in the second half to uh, to start the game again effectively um, because we hadn't started and. Um, we made a little change to the formation, made a double substitution, and uh, we got back into the game. Um, it was a great move and uh, uh, great awareness in, in the penalty box by uh, a number of players, George uh, and then James Gray, uh, to lay it on for Cal for the for the finish, who was who was unmarked in the box. And um, I thought we at that stage we had the momentum. Um, we rode a luck a little bit, but uh, I thought. When we when we did score and made it one all, there was only one team going to win it. But um, a long ball, which uh, you know it hurts me to say it, we didn't deal with it properly, and, and it ends up in the back of our net. And uh, at that point, I think a few of the few of the lads' heads dropped, which I've said that I'm not I'm not particularly happy about because football you've got to keep going to a final whistle, irrespective of what situation arises in the game. And um, the, the lads that didn't let the reds drop, they they got us out the uh, out of the out of the mess we were in again, and um, gave us an opportunity to uh, to salvage something from the game. And uh, of course, you know what happened at the end, and um, the lads are dejected in there. But as I've said to them, they, they need to pick themselves up. Uh, there's a great opportunity for us to put it right on Tuesday against Shrewsbury. Um, as I say, they need to process the disappointment. And then once you've processed the disappointment, put it away, throw it in the bin, and then move forward because that's all you can do. You can't look back. You can't change the uh, what's gone on in the past. You can only affect the future. Was Cal Naismith always going to take the penalty? Cal's a penalty taker. Yeah, um, there was some interference with that, uh, which I'll have to have a look at because um, Cal was the penalty taker. So uh, I'll I'll look at the uh, the video and see what happened there. And uh, you know if there's if there's anybody trying to get on the ball then you know we'll have to have a discussion about it. What do you mean your own players? Yeah. Um, um, what, why do you think it just didn't start well in the first half? Um, I don't know sometimes it's like that but I think we were as I say I don't I don't think either side um, started particularly well. Um, you know I try, I try and tell the lads when you go away from home the first objective is to quieten the crowd down. Uh, I thought we did that well after 15 minutes, you know, you couldn't hear a pin drop in here, but that was, you know, it's the same for both sides. But surely that should give us an advantage, uh, being the being the away side. Um, and then we, you know, we we concede a, a sloppy goal um, uh, for our standards. And uh, as I say, I think we were lucky at half time to to go in one nil down uh, in that situation because because of, of the performance of Luke Simpson. He did change it around. The two saves came on, and Cal Naismith took his goal well. Yeah, he took it well. As I said, uh, we um, we put the two the two wing. We changed the formation to four four two to try and get the two wing backs pushed back because they were uh, winning the war of attrition on on the flanks, and um, we we managed to do that. We sort of gained a foothold and a, and a grip on the game, and uh, I think the lads looked to the more comfortable at four four two. And as you say, we, we got the goal. And, and as, I, as I said before, there was only one team that looked like winning at that point. Uh, the lads looked hungry to get back to the, the centre circle to get the ball back in play. And, uh, you know, the lads had, lads had gutted in there because it's, it's an awful amount of effort and uh, it, it hinges on a, you know, an individual error. How do you feel when you look at the start of the season now with you know, three games gone and no wins as yet? Well, there's only two games gone, as as far as I'm concerned. I don't think, uh, I wouldn't say that the the Capital One Cup has no relevance, but so far as that, Quinton Stanley and myself and the staff are concerned and the players, there's only one thing that we need to concentrate on, and that's keeping keeping this club in the league. Um, with the budget we're on, I think it's an absolute miracle that we the lads produced the performances they did last year. And, you know, if we can produce it again, it'll be another miracle we stay in the league. It's just a case now we're just getting off off the mark again, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. We've got to just keep going. Um, that's all we can do. We keep working hard. We know everything's in place. 
Uh, we're trying to find the best training facilities for the lads to train on, and uh, you know everything everything's uh, as good as we can get it, should I say? And uh, try and give the lads the best of, of everything that's available to us. Um, and as far as as far as we're concerned, we'll do all the preparation needed and as our usual preparation for every game, and we won't change that because we know it's a winning formula. And you know, like you said, it will be difficult to pick yourselves up from this. But you've got another game on Tuesday at Shrewsbury. Yep, yeah, we've got to travel to Shrewsbury on, on Tuesday. And uh, as I've said to you many times before, football is a great, a great sport for giving you that opportunity to put things right. And the lads are desperate to do that. They're all very disappointed at the moment. But I've told them to leave this stadium with the with the chests out and the and the heads held high, because. You know that's what we are. We're 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 Accrington Stanley, and and you know none of my I'd told them none of my teams should ever drop their heads, or, or you know get get dejected at a situation in the game because there's always time to put it right as long as you keep going to the final whistle. And Cal Naismith especially, you really got to live, lift him because he probably had that going through that penalty in his mind a hundred times now. Yeah, but Cal, you know, usually it's football's a pressure situation. Penalty taking is a pressure situation. And um, usually he's, he's excellent, Adam. Um, I had every faith, faith in him that he was going to score, but he's lifted it over the bar.